Hello students, today we are going to study a poem Where the Mind is Without Fear written by Rabindranath Tagore. Before the explanation of this poem, let's begin with the following points. First, we are going to discuss about the question paper format of SEC board examination. English is having 80 mass question paper in the board examination is divided and the question paper is divided into the six section the section number one there is a language study for 10 marks then the section number two that is the prose it means there is a passages for the 10 marks and then there is the section three for 10 marks so that we are going to discuss today see question number third a that is the based on the question and answer that question will be asked for the five marks then the question number third B is there for the five marks that is the appreciation of poem. So that's why we can say that how the poem is important in point of view of the examination. Second thing that is the background study of the poem. Then the critical analysis and the poetic devices that we are going to study line by line in the poem. And the last one that is the activities whatever activities are there in the textbook that will also we will get complete so first of all we will see that is the where the mind is there without fear written by Rabindranath Tagore the poetic uh, that let's begin the poem with the critical analysis and the poetic devices line by line students see this is the first line of the poem that is where the mind is without fear and the head is held down first of all I would like to tell you that where indicates that is the location it means that Rabindranath Tagore has written this poem in keeping view that the India in front of first of all I would like to tell you uh, first of all I would like to tell you that this poem has been written by the Rabindranath Tagore about 1900 the fixed date or the years not mentioned anywhere so about 1900 this poem has been written keeping in view in the mind that in the year of the 1905 there was a partition of Bengal the Bengal was divided into the two parts that is the West Bengal and the East Bengal West Bengal there was a majority of the Hindu people and in the East Bengal there was a majority of the Muslim people and then the then Viceroy Lord Curzon has divided the Bengal in the year of the 1905 in two parts so we can say that where it means where it indicates the location that is India where the mind is without fear it means the poet wanted to say that see again one thing I would like to tell you here this is the imaginary poem and the poet is uh, praying to God praying to Almighty God that I wanted to live in a such a country where the people where the mind of the people is without fear without fear means fear of poverty fear of discrimination fear of slavery so this poem has been written when the India was ruled by the Britishers so he says that the poet the poet wants a country where every citizen should be feared from uh, should be free from fear that fear of slavery fear of the uh, discrimination and the low respect secondly the head is held high held high means there is a self dignity or the self respect so he wanted to say that every indian must be proud of his country for what we have and we should not be ashamed of ourselves everyone said should be held high in order to be free from the external forces external forces <coughs> then while going through line by line the poetic devices when we see the question paper in that one the one marks is asked one marks question is asked about the figure of speech so in this line if this if this line is asked or if this poem is asked in the examination sure one marks question will be asked over this line that indicate or the identify which figure of speech is there in this lines so in this figure of, in this line there is alliteration figure of speech because the sound of h in the words is repeated more than the two times for the poetic devices so we can call it when <coughs> when there is a definition of the alliteration is there 
that when the sound of the when the first alphabet or the when the sound of the letter is repeated more than the two times it indicates that the it indicates that there is a alliteration figure of speech so we will see the next one that the second line the second line is there that where knowledge is free means a poet wanted to live in such a country where there is a knowledge is free means there should not be any hurdles there should not be any obstacles there should not be any problems to gain the knowledge the knowledge should completely free the knowledge should completely free in the country where you wanted to live see now knowledge means education knowledge means education is uh, is means this is the idea this is the imagination of the rabindranath tagore that he said that the poet wishes for the country that is india that the knowledge should be accessible for all the people means all the citizen this knowledge should be accessible to all for all because knowledge can lead the people from darkness to light and then if a people who are having the knowledge a person who is having the knowledge he can lead the <coughs> he can lead the people from darkness to light and education is the only way to emancipation from poverty illiteracy, illiteracy ignorance and the backwardness so now we will see the third line third and fourth line of this poem where the world has not been broken up into the fragments by narrow domestic walls see this is <clears throat> while writing this poem while spinning down these lines by the rabindranath tagore in the poem he says that where the world world means the country where the world where the country has not been broken up into the fragments fragments in the pieces or the parts so is that he says that fragment means pieces or the parts there should be unity among the citizens instead of fighting each other for supremacy means the world should not be divided into the pieces on the basis of the caste class creed and religion means there should be the unity and then there should be no division based on the religion <coughs> based on the religion caste class and color in societies and between the countries of the world as well so in this poem in this lines in the line number 3 and line number 4 there is a figure of speech is alliteration see in the line number 1 there is a alliteration figure of speech and in the line number 3 also there is a alliteration figure of speech because the sound of the word w is repeated more than more than two times for the poetic devices then we are going to see that is the line number 5 where the world comes out from the depth of truth see a poet wanted to live in such a country where the people can speak truth then he says that he wants a nation where everyone should speak the truth and the words should come from the depth of their hearts nobody should lie means if a person who is you a person who is speaking uh, who is speaking truth it means the nation can be pro progress very fast in this line there is a iteration figure of speech once again has come here that because of the sound w is repeated two times for the poetic poetic effects line number 6 where tireless starving stretches its arms towards the perfection tireless striving it means endless efforts stretches its arm towards the perfection the meaning of this line is it means that every person should work hard to reach their goal and improve himself or herself and they should continuously strive towards the self perfection they in this line there is a figure of speech that is alliteration because the sound of yes is repeated two times for the poetic fix again another figure of speech is also mentioned over here that is the personification for why the line is belongs to the personification because here the tiring uh, tireless striving has been given the human quality of stretching its arm when the human quality has given the quality of the stretching sounds then the personific uh, personification figure of speech is mentioned over here see the next line 
where the clear streams of the reason for has not lost its way it means it is the dream of the poet so this is the dream of the poet the uh, means the india should get independence very soon and so that's why that's why he has seen the dreams of the freedom of india the independent india then he says that it is the dream of the poet rabindranath tagore that he wants this country men to have the power of reason the people should have the power of reason the people should have the power of uh, power of reason it means they should think about themselves they should think about without any bias in their mind that and not to give into the age old superstition beliefs it means there should not be any superstition there should not be any superstition beliefs in their minds they should think clearly they should think why they should think about <coughs> the power of reason now see the line number 8 into the dreary desert sand of the dead happy it means the people should lead by the rational thinking the people should lead by the rational thinking and not by the old beliefs that are harmful and the old belief the <coughs> superstitions are very harmful for the progress of the country for the progress of the nation for the progress of the society and for the progress of the individuals that's why the people should think rationally the people should think positively then they can miss then the country get uh, the country can progress fast in this line <coughs> there is a figure of speech that is the alliteration alliteration is once again there is a figure of speech in this lines because the sound of d is repeated <coughs> more than two times for the poetic refrain second thing again one of one uh, again the personification figure of speech is mentioned over here that is here the habit has been given the quality of death metaphor is also there because here the old habits have been Im implicitly compared to dreary desert sand now we will see the next line where the mind is led forward by d into ever widening thoughts and action see the poets what the poet says the poet says that the poet is praying to god directly that the minds of the people in the country those people those region who are staying in the country the minds of the people in the country to be led forward they should think about the progress they should think about the progress of the nation progress of the country and so that they become the individual and have a broad minded outlook their <coughs> next line into the into that heaven of freedom my father let my country awake in the last line of the poet request directly to god almighty god and wants his country to led by him it means the led by god led by father and guide to awaken the country where there is a total freedom of good works good thoughts and good deeds so in the last line of this poem the poet wanted to say that the poet wanted to pray directly to the god that he wants the country to led by the god and guy to awaken the country guy to awaken the people in the country that there should be the good words good thoughts and the good deeds in these lines there is the apostrophe figure of speech because the poet is addressing to almighty god so this is the explanation of the poem with the poetic devices so now we did the critical analysis of the poet line by line with the poetic devices now let's begin the activities activity based questions now student you can see here that <coughs> the activity number 1 warming up pair up with your partner and match the terms with their given meanings in the column number 1 column number a there is a word and the meaning is given there in the column number b see now the first word is there humanism humanism it means a rationalistic outlook towards the human rather than a divine or the supernatural one now second that is the patriotism <clears throat> patriotism it means the meaning of the patriotism is the uh, that is the quality of being patriotic vigorous so sub vigorous supports for one's country now the third one that is the internationalism 
internationalism the meaning of the internationalism is there that a state or process of being international now the fourth one that is the liberalism liberalism it means holding the liberal views and the last one that is the environmentalism environmentalism it means that is the concern about the action aimed at protecting the environment <coughs> now see the activity number 2 that is the poem in english are of different types there are the different types of the poems are there in english literature that can be divided into sonnet limerick ballad elegy free verse epic lyric humorous and idyll so now we are going to <coughs> explain it that taking the help of the dictionary or the internal gaze internet guess and write the type of poem against its description the first of all we are going to see that a long story poem is often mythical it means not real it is known as epic secondly a short story poem with a message that is known as ballad third one a poem of 14 lines it is known as sonnet it means a poem where there is a 14 lines it is known as the sonnet a long like poem a song like poem it is known as lyric a poem with no uniformity of rhyme rhythm etc there is a free verse a poem with no a poem set in the picture as the rustic background it is known as the idyll and a sad poem lamenting death of a loved one it is known as the elegy then next one is the year a five line short funny poem with a rhyme scheme that is a a b b a that is known as the limerick and a poem written just to create humor it is known as the humor now we have seen the <coughs> see now let's see the <coughs> about the poet rabindranath tagore born in 1861 died on 1941 he was the author of gitanjali and its profoundly sensitive fresh and beautiful verse he became the first non european to receive or to win to receive he became the first non european to win the nobel prize in literature in the 1913 this poem is one of his vastly read and discussed poem it was originally composed in the bengali it means this <coughs> where the mind is without fear this poem has initially was written in the bengali language but he himself translated the poem into english in the year of the 1910 and then he himself translated it into english the poem is from his nobel prize winning anthology anthology it means the collection of poem that is gitanjali and if you see the gitanjali the collection of poem poem number 35 you will see where the mind is without fear is written then tagore lived during the time when the india was ruled by the british and this poem is also already i have this i already i have told you that this poem is written when there was a british rule in india <coughs> and in this poem besides the political freedom miss india wanted to political freedom beside that tagore also appeals to god for social educational and economic freedom for the people of india it means the poem that this poem is in the form of prayer to almighty god and the poet rabindran dago is praying to god for the freedom of social educational and economic for the people of india now the explanation of the poem already we have discussed or already i have told you the explanation of this poem line by line then 
this poem is written in the free verse it means in this poem <coughs> there is no rhyming words there is no rhyming scheme so that's why we can call it there is a free verse this poem we belongs to the free verse we can see here there is no rhyming words high free fragments walls it means there is no rhyming words so that if there is no rhyming words there is no rhyming scheme we can find out or we can take out see now then see the difficult meanings or the dif uh, difficult words meanings narrow domestic walls already we have discussed while explaining the poem line by line that is the narrow domestic walls it means the division on the basis of religion caste class and color in societies and between the countries of the world the second word is there that is the tireless striving it means the continuous efforts and struggle for getting the freedom to india then the stretches in arms means aims at achieving a goal next word is here that is the dead habit it means the old traditional rituals and customs that are harmful for society ever ending widening <coughs> it means forever broadening one's outlook and the last word is here that is heaven of freedom it means the condition of total freedom of good thoughts good words and good deeds while respecting those of others now see the next activities <coughs> in your notebook write down lines from the poem as a proof of the following the first one is here tagore the first line is here tagore vishesh for a nation where people are truthful this line indicates these lines <coughs> we can see the line number 5 the we uh, miss the, the line number 5 can indicate the explanation of this tagore which is for a nation where people are truthful second when we see the line number 6 in the line number 6 we can see that the poet would like everyone work hard to reach their goal and in the long run to the reach of perfection when you see the line number 1 you can see the that the poet wishes that everyone in his country holds his head high in dignity and then when you can see the line number 2 you can see the that the poet dreams of a nation where knowledge should be free to all means there should not be the knowledge there should not be the discrimination while accessing the knowledge in the country where you want to, where you want to live then the line number 11 <coughs> is there that indicates that the poem is the poem is a prayer means in the last line we can see that the poet is addressing praying to the god almighty directly that for the freedom of the country for the freedom of the nation so now we will see the next activity activity number 2 read the columns carefully and match the expression with their meanings see <laughs> in the column number a or column number b in the column number b see the word is here and the meaning is given there in the column number b see the first one the head is held high it means the meaning is given here that a person with self respect and proud of possessing it second word is here narrow domestic walls the meaning of the narrow domestic wall is given there in the column number b that is narrow mindedness the third one that is the knowledge is free the meaning of the knowledge is free is given in the poem uh, in the column number b <coughs> that is education is given to all it means the education is free to all then the depth of truth the meaning of the depth of the truth is there that is the clear thinking means there should not be any bias while talking with others then mind is without fear it means the fear the fearless person a person who is who is not having any fear then stretches his arm it means there is the arms the aim set perfection means there should be a aim of perfection then the clear stream of reason that is the broadening the outlook and attitude dead habits indicates that there is a broadening the outlook and attitude every ever widening thoughts and action indicates that the sincerity of heart 
now we are going to see the next activity the answer the following case the answer the following questions in your own words means the answer you have to write by your own words in your notebook means each and everything is line to line word by word i have explained this for you then you can see that the answers are also given in the poem so you can write the answer by your own then the 3c in this activity we can see that write in your notebook your own responses and justify where needed so this activity also you, you try at home and write the answer in the notebook we shall be getting any difficulty we will see the answer we will see the answers in details in the next session then then see now the activity number 4 read the poem carefully and complete the table after the discussion in pairs one is done for you see now this activity one <coughs> activities is given is done for you that is concepts in the poem mind present situation the mind is full of fear and the expected or the ideal situation that is the fearless mind the head already i have discussed knowledge words habits thoughts and action in details we have already discuss about that in the while explaining the poem then see the next activity that is the activity number 5 a complete the following sentences using your own interpretation now see when the mind is without fear and head and both we enjoy the complete freedom we enjoy the absolute freedom or the complete freedom this is the answer of this fill in the blanks when knowledge is free every citizen enjoys the right to learn and obtain the knowledge this is the answer learn and obtain knowledge this is the answer of this b we can prevent social injustice when we pull down discriminatory walls of the caste class religion etc the fourth one constant effort and strive leads to achieving our goal achieving our goals and to perfection this is the answer of the this is the answer of this this is the fill in the blanks then the next one logical thinking and reasoning can put a stop to the following of the old tradition and customs that are harmful for the society that are harmful for the nation then the next next question is the year tagore appeals to god to make his country a heaven it means tagore rabindranath tagore appealing to the god to make his country a heaven it means there should not be any discrimination at all in the country among the societies then now see next activity there that is the fill in the blank <coughs> see the first one students should keep themselves aloof from old harmful traditions that is the superstitions next one when knowledge is free everyone will be literate it means when the knowledge when the education is free all the citizens in our country will be literate there should not be a means no people will be deprived from the education it is a social duty of every student of modern world to uproot narrow minded from societies then the next d student must develop broad outlook and attitudes in the world of psychophony student must have self respect it means the student should have the self respect if a student is having the self respect then he can do something to betterment of their nation of their society of their families next now find out the examples of the metaphor from the poem it means already we have discussed about line to line and the figure of speech which figure of speech is mentioned in which line that we have discussed then almost every line of the poem begin with the word where and it expects the idealistic country and countrymen now walk in a group of the six students 
and compose your poem regarding ideal school begin your lines with the words where so now you can miss, you, you can make a group of the six students and make a line where the line where the poem begins with the where is the word where indicates the locality it means the school regarding your school ideal school we can write the poem now see read the poem write an appreciation of poem in about 12 to 15 sentences with the help of the following points now students i would like to tell you this question may ask in the examination for five months while discussing about while discussing about the question paper format i told you the question number 3b is there for the appreciation poem appreciation of poem it means the this question is asked for the five marks in the examination and if suppose the stanzas of this poem is asked in the uh, is asked in the examination then there should be the title the title of the poem only the stanzas will be there in the question paper so you have while appreciation of the poem we you have to know that what is the title of the poem then the second this uh, this title of the poem is there for the one mark then the poet who, miss, who has written the poem the name of the poet is there for the one mark then the rhyme scheme in this poem there is no rhyme scheme because this poem is based on the uh, free verse so there is no rhyme scheme this question may not be asked in the examination but the favorite line miss which is your favorite line with the explanation of that line that will also ask for the one mark and then the theme and the central idea this will be asked for the two marks so the central idea of the poem and the central idea of the poem and the theme of the poem that will also ask for the two marks and instead of the rhyming scheme the figures of speech will be there from this poem if suppose this poem may ask in the examination now <clears throat> while going to back when we see the last year question paper the last year march 2020 this poem did not ask in the exam this poem did not ask in the examination may it may ask in the examination when we appear for the board examination march of 2021 so that's my point of view of the examination this poem is very important as per my perspective as per my knowledge this poem is very important for the point of view examination because in the last examination this poem did not ask in the exam and now it may ask for the examination <clears throat> now next activity is there that imagine that you have to deliver a speech on the occasion of independence day so this is the activity is included in the writing skill one question for the five marks speech writing is there in the writing skill this also can ask in the examination for the five marks imagine that you have to deliver a speech that is the speech writing on the occasion of on the occasion of independence day or the republic day in the school assembly prepare a speech to deliver on india of my dreams india of my dreams that will be asked for you for the five marks in the writing skill the last miss the <coughs> fifth section is there in the question paper see in the while explaining the question paper format there is a fifth section that is the writing skill and in the fourth 15 marks the writing skill will be asked that is uh, prepare a speech to deliver on india of my dreams for five marks so the use the following steps and while writing this speech you have to think or you have to keep in the mind the following points that greeting and salutation in that one there should be the greetings and salutation then the self introduction introduction of the topic elaboration of the topic with examples then the conclusion and thanking audience so in details when we study in the next upcoming videos or <coughs> upcoming session we will study we will see in details how to write the greetings and salutation self how to so how to write the self introduction introduction of the topic elaboration of the topic with examples conclusion and the thanking audience in details in the next upcoming videos now see the last one that is a read the short story written by rabindranath tagore the kabuliwala or the house coming 
now this is one of the activities for you download the poem of the rabindranath tagore that is the, download the the short story written by the rabindranath tagore from the internet that is the kabuliwala or the house coming visit the website and collect more information about the rabindranath tagore's life and work so when you can see when, um, when while the browsing on the internet you will see the poem rabindranath rabindranath tagore's many poems are there among that that is the kabuliwala and the house of fame this is for the miss this is <coughs> you can download it and you can see how the important how the significant the poem is thank you very much